With the Mackay Aerial Expedition, let us move to Wilbilla, 270 miles west of Alice Springs. Here we land at the foot of the Edinburgh Ranges, which is right in the very centre of our vast continent. Many of these natives had never seen a white man and bolted when the aeroplane landed. Their powers of endurance are remarkable. 84 miles in 12 and a half hours was proved to have been covered by one of them. And here he is. Bitter cold winds blow across the desert, but the aboriginals keep themselves warm with fires. Not exactly artists' models. The nearest lady might be 60. On the other hand, she might be 25. For lighting a fire, safety matches are not required. But this is just as easy. Try it yourself and see. The Queen of the Pinto tribe prepares the midday meal. Grass seeds collected are placed between two stones and with water added are ground down into a dirty grey looking mess. This mess is collected in a dish called a kuliman. The question of cooking utensils does not worry the abo, for a new one can easily be obtained with a few strokes of a stone axe. While the collecting of seeds, roots, etc. is the woman's duty, the man must do the hunting. Let this man demonstrate the art of spear throwing. Perfect balance is necessary, and this is obtained by causing the spear to quiver. Then away she goes with deadly accuracy up to 150 yards. After the day's work, what could be better than a little dancing to forget your cares? The elaborate headdress is constructed of twigs of mulga scrub, bound round with string made from human hair. The finishing touches, waving in the breeze, are made from tufts of emu's feathers. And these quaint people are living on the fringe of an area reported to be rich with gold. Will this ever be the Kalgoorlie of Central Australia?